Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Athena Amoeba. Happy Thursday. I just got to work. I gotta make this quick. I can't edit this video, so be prepared for that. What am I here to say today? Let me tell you. First, a couple things. First, this is gonna be the last video that I create um, that's part of this long stretch that I've done. If you haven't noticed, I've posted one video every other day for a few months. I'm very proud of myself for actually pulling that off. Um, it did require a lot of time, work, and dedication, so hooray for that. I'm proud of myself for doing it, but I'm going to, that's gonna stop, and I'll tell you why. First of all, um, I don't really have the time to put out two videos, or one video every other day, and that's because it really does, like I said, take a lot of time, uh, dedication, and commitment to do that. And at the same time, I feel like the videos I'm putting out aren't even the quality that I would want them to be, uh, because I can't take the time to craft them because I just have to worry about pumping them out and putting them out. So, um, I, you know, I also watched a bunch of my videos back, I watched actually like all of my videos back the other day, not in full, but clips, as I was putting together that montage for my two year anniversary video that I just posted. Um, and thank you all so much for supporting me, for liking, for subscribing, like it really does mean a lot to me, especially because I know that I put out really shitty videos. <laughs> like, I, it's okay, I can own up to it. I'm not saying there's nothing good about them. I'm just saying they're not great. They're not great quality in terms of what what it takes to create a good YouTube video. I can own up to that, I can. And so thank you for supporting me anyway and subscribing, I really appreciate that. Um, so even though this channel is about documenting, you know, my journey, what's it like to go from being unhappy with where you're at in life to working your way to being at a place that you're, you feel good about, right? And, and I don't want to, it's not that I'm, it's not that I imagine there's this magical place I'll reach in my life where I'll just for, be happy every day after that forevermore. No, it's not that. It's just that in general, like, am I living the kind of lifestyle that I want to live? No, I'm not. Um, and there are things that I can do, habits that I could create, habits that I could drop, things that I can work on to live the general type of life that I want to live, right? So it's not even about hitting end goals, it's just about a lifestyle. And I'm not living that lifestyle. I'm living a very chaotic, unstable lifestyle, and that's pretty much been my reality my whole life. So trying to create stability and trying to create, um, you know, better habits is a challenge because there's a lot that I have to work on, and I'm continuing to do so. So, uh, yeah, so I, I know that the content of my videos isn't great, like the production quality isn't great, but I am trying to show my progress. That being said, in order for me to actually make good progress in my life, I have to put that focus and energy and attention into other areas, like my mental health, emotional health, my physical health, my eating, my uh, exercising, um, my craft actually getting better and taking the time to be able to learn how to edit and learn how to tell a good story, you know, all that is going to take time. And so trying to pump out a YouTube video every other day is counterproductive to all of those things. And I can't show how I'm growing and progressing as a person if my time isn't going to those areas. So that's why I'm going to change my upload schedule for now. It might be, you know, once a week. Um, it might be twice a week at most, um, or maybe I'll just take a break until I can figure out like exactly what will work for me. We'll, we'll just see. I haven't really made up my mind yet, but just know behind the scenes, I'm thinking about how to, uh, make YouTube work for me, not make me work mindlessly to pump out videos, if that makes sense. So that's where I'm at. Um, other than that, I'll say updates for this week. I have gone on a walk every single morning with my boyfriend so far. It's Thursday, so tomorrow will mark a full work week of going for a walk. I'm very proud of that because we got up, we did it. No hesitation, we just have been doing it. It's much easier to do something when you have a partner in crime to do it with. I'll say that's probably been one of the biggest motivating factors in keeping me consistent. Um, and it's not even that I feel obligated to him. It's just, it's more fun. <laughs> you know, it's not like, Oh, I've got to go do this thing alone. It's like, Oh, we're just going for a walk and it's, it's fun and it's nice. So that's been good. My eating has not been good this week. I've been coping using food because I'm just so burnt out at work, which is where I'm at right now. Um, I, my job is great, great benefits. I'm very lucky. I'm still very blessed to have it. I want to keep it, but, um, 
I'm burned out. I'm burned out as fuck. And there's nothing I can do about it because you gotta work. You gotta make a living. You know, there's no, there's no end. You just gotta keep going. So I'm burnt out and, and I know I'm using food as a coping, mes- coping mechanism, but at least being aware of it hopefully will help me address it and deal with it better in the coming weeks. So that's kind of an update. Um, outside of that, I will say I have been consistent with my makeup. I've been doing it at least four times a week, and I'm getting lots of compliments at work. Obviously, I didn't do it today, but yesterday, several people were like, dude, your eyeliner is like on point. I don't know what you're doing, but it's working. So, what I'm doing is working. Um, Yeah, so little changes, guys. Just stick to it. Don't expect anything to change overnight. You just have to keep going. You just have to keep trying different things, what works for you, and you've just got to keep refocusing, right? It's hard to keep your focus on some things, so just know, especially if you're a person like me who has so many different interests and you're here and there and you have so many things you want to do and it's easy to get scatterbrained and deorganized and and unfocused, but you just got to refocus and that's all you can do and refocus and move forward and remember that focus is the most powerful force in the universe, so if you can focus you can you have the power to change any area of your life okay sending you love sending you love i will see you all in the next video whatever that happens to be or whenever that happens to be and thank you for the support thank you for the love sending it right back to you